this is it. It uses the middle of PL and CSS, programmable logic or programmable ladder. This is a ladder programming language. So we use ladder programming to program this. Then this system you can use to control the right program for traffic light, that right program for elevators, for dynamo motor, for stepper motor, for pulse width modulator, and for lights. Then you can either use this as external or internal. When you are putting external, it is going to be when you want to download it into your application server, you put external. Internal when you are actually working on it directly with your software. It has four switches which can be used to activate the inputs, which is we have input 0 to 7 and output 0 to 7. Then we have channel 1 and channel 2 for analog systems. Then we have ground, positive, 5 volt, negative 12, and positive 12 volt. We switch it on here and off here. So this is it. Let's go to the program. Yes. Yeah. It, into AppliCat Server. Yes. Sorry, you have uh, mentioned some of those applications again. You say traffic lights, stepper motor. Yes. Elevators. Okay. Motor. Motor. Elevator. Okay. Yeah, and then pulse width modulation. Yeah. Light and temperature. Okay. Yes. So that is it. The hardware is done. Let's go to the software. This is the software. The software has two terminals, positive and negative. Positive and negative. You start your connection from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Now, the software has a file which you can create a new file if you want to open a new software. It has open if you want to open an existing. It has save if you want to add to something and save it. Save as when you open a new software and you want to save it. Then you have exit. When you click this, it goes off. Then view, we have drawn this. Some of these are things. Like, some of them. I don't know. Okay. In the view, we have the analog. We have the drone. This is the drone. This is used for sequential programming. And also we have the analog to digital converter, which converts from analog to digital. The lowest is zero, the maximum is 255, so you can convert your analog signal to digital using the ADC. We have option. We're going to get to that. Then we have the open com. Choose the communication port, the system will communicate with this. Okay. So if I click, okay, let me just explain by from right. Then here is interface, you can choose between Applicat 7 and TPS3071. It has two interfaces, so you have to be careful. If you are working with this, you have to choose TPS3071. Then also it has simulation and interface. If I want to connect this to the system to implement anything I maybe carry out an experiment, I can put it on interface, but if I just want to write a program and simulate it, I'll put it under simulation. And as it is now, it's under simulation. Once I change the interface, you'll see something like this coming up. Okay, so I mean, sorry. Is it okay? Yeah. All right. Sorry. So, you can see that there is no communication because that's why it's showing up this X. So, if there is communication, once I switch it on, it will not turn to yeah. you. That means whatever thing I do here can be replicated here. Are we good to go? Let me let me make it big. Alright. This particular port stands for the inputs of the system from J0 to J7. 
Z0 to Z7 is the input memory cells. Q0 to Q7 are the outputs of the system. For Z0 to Z7 are the output memory cells. Now, any value I put here, and I click on this, it will appear on any depressed button. Before you put any value, it has to be pressed. It has to be pressed. Yes. yes. Whichever place you want to put, you have to press. So if I want it to be here, I will just press this place. You can see that it's depressed. Yeah. Then you double click at the middle, it will appear there. Okay. If you want to delete, you come to this empty. So that is empty and then you click and you delete it. Now this is normally open switch. This one is normally closed switch. This Q stands for output. So I can check my output from 0 to 7, whichever value I put, it will appear here. So this is my output. So I can come here and click and it will and these are connecting wires. You know, in electrical, you have to connect wire from one component to another. So if so I have... Are in interfacing mode? No, we, yeah, we're in interfacing mode, but I'm just explaining these components before we now start the practical. All right, so we have connecting wires. This connects wire up to down components. This connects wires from up, down to up, for instance. If I have something like this, and I want to just have, let's say I have two components like this, I want to have, uh, what do you call it, parallel connection. You know, this one connect to the next line. I come here and click on the up, then I put another component here. That makes it parallel. So this line connects up and up connects down. This line connects to the down cell. This one connects to the up cell. But if, for instance, I still want to connect something here again, I cannot use because there is no line here that will connect down. So I have to look for something that connects both up and down, which is this. I'll click on this. It will now appear. Then I come here and click something that will connect to the up cell, which is this. Like this, then it becomes a parallel connection. Let me clean all of them. Okay, are we good with all this? Mm. All right, let's go to counters. We have up and down counter here. This is a counter that can count from zero to whichever number. So let me just design a small circuit and just show you how it works because we need to know how they work one after the other. So let me just have uh, an input like this. You can see the counter has a clock and a reset and then an output. So I place this counter here and then I get another... You click automatically next to the point. Yes. Mm -hmm. Once you press here, where you want yeah, you it to go, go to. to. You have to press where you want it to go to. Okay. Then you come it and double click. click and it will appear there. Okay. Yes. So I want to put a reset switch. That means I need a down, something that will connect this thing up. So I'll come to this and double click on it. You see it appears up. It's connected to my reset. Then I will now connect this to another switch, let's say J2. J2 like this. So J1 is my my clock, that's my enable, while J2 is my reset. Okay. So if I want this counter to have an output, I will now say, let me choose an output. You can choose between 0 and 7. Let me choose 5. Right. Then you double click here, it will appear here. Okay. So let's see how it works on that simulation. Now, if I enable J1, you see, count as 1. By of it, I click again as 2. Can you see it going up? This number. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me reset it. To reset it, I need to click what? J2, so that this will go back to zero. So I click on J2, it goes back to zero. Now, it's a counter. That means whenever there is a clock, it increases from one, zero to one. Another clock will make it to go to two. Another clock, three. It's a counter. Like in bottling companies, they have like 
an optical laser that will count the number of bottles that are obstructing the laser beam. So when a bottle passes and obstructs, it clocks a counter. Counter sees at one as one. When the next one passes, it clocks another one. This is how it works. Once it gets to 12, it will now deactivate and then maybe take those to where they will be packaged into one crate or one carton. So this is the principle they use. So let's see how it works. Let's look at this clogging that I'm making as if it is a bottle of uh, a bottle passing through a laser and obstructing the transmission from the transmitter to the receiver. So when it sees an obstruction, it sees it as one, as a clock. When another one obstructs, it sees it as another clock. So when I clock it first, it becomes one. It go off. I clock it second, it sees it as two. That's how it will continue. Third as three. So it will continue counting as I'm clocking. It's going to be increasing. So in case you want to design a system where you need to count something, this one will count and return it for you in its memory cell. All right. I don't understand this. This is the reset. You know, if I don't reset it to go back to zero, it will continue counting. But if you want it to count maybe from 1 to 12, to notify me that I have reached 12 and then the total number of uh, bottles it has counted is 12, then you have to reset to zero so that it will count. Is it like a ground? No, it's not a ground. It's an input. This is a, an up counter. Yes. yes. So, if I, this is an input again. This is also an input that will plug it. To provide to enable it to start, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, it energizes or a plug generator. But as it is counting and you want it to reset itself, okay, you now need to energize the reset so that it will take it back to zero. Yes, so now if it's at number seven, yes, sir, okay, it's at number 17 now. If I click on J2, it will reset it back to zero, okay, okay, so that it will start counting again. You understand? Okay. Uh -huh. So J1 is used for counting. For not for, for call. Okay, C. C mm. is counting. Yeah. Enable. Okay. R is to reset. Okay. I can decide to put J7 here. Okay. J5 here. It depends on the input you want. want. Any question on this? So J1 is energizing the ground. Yeah, it's connected to the clock. Mm -hmm. And J2 is connected reset. to the reset. Mm. Yes. It's connected to the reset. The reset. Yes. You know why I was asking the question? Yes, sir. Thinking that you know, it's normal that we were expecting to see a high here. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You see one if you clock. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so this is it. That Q, Q. This one. Q represents so output. output. This is Q5. That's the output we we want to be to, to be shown. You understand? This is the output. That's why it is already showing you that it is high already. Waiting for clocks to come in. Mm. Yeah. So if I reset it, you see, it's still showing me that Q5 is your output. So are we good here? All right. Let's see how a down counter works. It's supposed to be the opposite of up counter, right? So let's put a value here and say 10, like this. Now it is it is reset. Mm. So I now click one. That's one thing about this system. One thing about the system is sometimes it freezes. So let's do let's restart again. So this is J1. Now if you make a mistake, you know it's supposed to be J1. Mm. But you can leave it as J2, no problem. But if you made a mistake of putting a value which you don't like, you can just right click. On it, the value comes and you now change it to change. So we are putting a down counter. And we are using, let's say, Q4. Then here. This one, right? Then this one, we can use J5. Whichever one we want. From here, I'm putting J5. So here. We are using Q4. So, J5 will reset it. 
to zero. You can see the zero appears here. Mm. So let's say we want to come from zero to ten. Sorry, from ten downwards. Now, if I click on J1, yes, sir. Okay, we'll finish just now. Let me finish with this scan counter. This J1, you see, it has changed to 9, 8, 7. So, this J1 now, to increase the clock. J5, if I click J5, it will go back to the example. It will go back to that initial position, 10. Can you see? Uh -huh. So, 1. You see to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. See what happens? Minus one, minus two. That's how you come. Now, if you want to reset it, you need to plug J5 because it's connected to the same. J5. You press it back to zero. No, no, you don't. Just come here. Just press it. Yes. Just like that. Yes. Yeah. So that's how it works. J5 resets. J1 increases or reduces it on the initial value. Yeah. It depends on how many you want, to, how many values you want to count. Okay, so let's reset. Back to 10. So I want to come back from the break. Very interesting. If I put that in, yes. will it still count? It will count, but it won't display. It will not control anything here. Yes, yeah, you can remove it. But when, when, you, when you want to now do the corrections to see what you are doing here, here you have to come in yeah. and But at this point, you can just do this. So we are at down counter. When we come back, we go to up down, we go to one shot, we go to timer, analog digital, and drum. Then we start our experiments. That's what I'm saying. It's the same thing we could have learned all of us. Mm. At the same time, be so that when we start experiment, if not, I'm going to take like 30 minutes now teaching you this. Step on again, 30 minutes. <laughs> hey, yeah, I have the counter. We are done with down counter. We are now at up and down counter. Can you, ex can you make that thing big? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, we are done with all this. We did up counter, we saw how it worked. We did down counter, we saw how it was working. Now we're going to up and down counter. Up and down counter is actually a combination of up and this down counter. That's why it has four timings. One, two, three, four. It has a common reset. It has enabled for the up counting. It has enabled for the down counting. And it has one output. Now, because it has four different points, if you want to, you can see that the, uh, the enable for output is up, the enable for the up counting is up, C, the one for down counting is this way, then the reset is here, that means that we need to enable it from up, this we need to enable it from down, this from the middle, that means we have one, two, three lines. So you place it in between one, two, three, and double click on it. Then here you put a down connector. You put a down connector, and then you add an input to it. Let's not let's not ma let's maximize our um, space. So let's put it here. No. Now let's put this here. 
You can choose any number you want. Then this is our output. You can put Q0 or let's say Q2, whichever. Correct. So let's put this value, let's say, at 10. Right click. Let's see how it works. It's going to work. I just wanted to put the value so that we see how it works. Do that one. You clean it. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This is J. J1. Let's put J1. Let's put J1. J0. J0. Why Q0 again? Let me just close and put it. Sometimes it behaves like that. Let's count up. To count up, we have to enable J0. This is the enable for up. This up counter. Then this is down. Then J1 is reset. So it's at zero now. Let's count up to 10. We click J0, becomes one, two, three, four, five, six. So, now if you want to, we want to reduce it. We now click on J2 to reduce to down count this value. This J2. Sorry. Four, three, two. Now let's reset it to zero. It's at two. So J1 will reset it to zero. All right. So we now know how this works. Okay. Please, they are all the behave differently. Let's see how a one shot timer works. <laughs> So, I'm going to 
with one shot timer. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. One shot timer. Ah. Okay. And this puts J2 in the volume. So, in this case, eh, so yes. you're not um, having any yeah. physical like, uh, ah, yeah. a signal attrition like this. You're just arbitrarily putting the ah, switches, yeah. the counters. You're not sending any signal. Yeah. For example, yeah. no, see what I mean. Eh? Mm. For example, if you do one shot, mm. let's say I want to send the one shot of, uh, let's say, five seconds. Mm. If you if you place one shot here, mm. do you have any way of knowing that this team probably could stay for this time? Yeah. Of course, mm. yes. I mean, on this environment now. Yes. Okay. Let's let's work on it. Let's see how it works. Okay. Not, I want to close this. Okay. Sorry. So let's see how one shot time works. Let's place a one shot here. Let's enable it with J0. Let's reset it with J1. Let's get the output from J1. Let me tell you the reason why I'm using Q1. This two was spoiled. So Q0 is always all. So if you use Q0, you get all the other. Okay. Yeah, that's why I don't use Q0. Okay. For this particular board or all the boards? No, this particular one, not set by K. You did some rock connection here, yeah, and then the thing comes. <laughs> you have to open it up, and then fix what we could fix. All right, so this is it. So let me put the time I want something to come up to be okay. 10 seconds. Okay. 10 seconds. Yeah, it uses like what we did in the final example. Yeah, it uses 0 for one factor. Okay. I hope so. Let me check first. So when you complete it, so you see it's active. Once it is up to that, it will go up. Have you seen it? Oh, sure, sure. Have you seen it? Other people look at it, it's at zero. Once I activate it, it will start to be high. After 10 seconds, it will go up. You can see it's high, Q1 is high. Yes, yes. And 10 seconds to go up. Okay. And you see that's gone up. And it resets itself back to zero. That's how a one shot timer works. Okay, that needs to be set. No, you don't know. But in the process where it is working like this, let's say I activate it. And it's working, I can quickly reset it to J1. Can you see? Yeah, but if it, if you don't reset it, it resets itself. Yes. One shot timer is a timer, is it not? Yes, sir. For a shot, is it for a shot? Like a stabilizer. The only light comes. It would delay. Yes. It would delay one shot. After that time, you have to go to the switch your board. Yeah, one shot. All right. So let's go to a different one. We are going to perform experiments to see how they work. But let's understand how each of them work first. All right. We are not going to time. How is it? Timer. Just the normal timer. Okay, let's put it here. That's an enable. J1. Let's reset it with maybe J2. And then the other Q1. So let me put the time to be 100 or so. Okay. So let me reset it, J2. See the difference with one shot time? J1. It won't be on until you get to 10 seconds. So once it gets to 10 seconds, Q1 should come on. And look at what happens to you. Can you see it continues counting? Let me reset, J2. Okay, let me activate. You see Q1 is off. Once it gets to 10 seconds. Oh. 
Okay, so this one is a way of establishing a delay here now. Yeah. So I need to do a delay. Yes. Yes. Alright, then then we have our analog the digital. See how it works. That's analog. Yes. Now let me put my high values. The load is always zero for this system. In other systems, you can actually choose 20, 30, 40, whichever way you want your load to be. Yeah, but on this particular system, the low is zero. High is any number. So look at it. Ah, one to run will be too long. Yes. So, okay. You can't take 1,000. It takes the maximum of 255. Yeah, maximum of 255. Yes. So now, you can see the system. Okay, let me give you an output. Let's say output 1. Now, this activates the system at Q1. But once the analog system gets too high, that is above 100, it switches off my system. On. Switches off my system. So this is it. You can see 20. There's the value. The current value is this. As I'm bringing this up, it will be increasing. Once it gets to 100, as I set it here, Q1 should be off. It's 99. 100. So say, and if I bring this less than that, it should come on at zero. So zero is my low. Then my high is one. So once it gets to 100, zero is low. 100 is high. Once it gets to 100. How is this in that game where I can add this? Zero is low. Three is one. No, and this is used with zero and one. Whichever value you have in analog as your high, whichever value you have analog as high is one. Okay. Yeah. Whichever value you have in your analog as zero is zero. So zero and one. So it doesn't see anything. Now, okay, in the real sense of it, it's the opposite of what we are seeing because I think it's just for training purpose for people to see the variation. But the real sense of it, once we are at zero, this one doesn't supposed to light up. But once we get to one hundred, it lights up. But this one is just for training purpose so that people will see at low we are having this. Anything that is not up to hundred is low. But once you get to hundred, it becomes high. It changes state. Yes, that is it. So, any questions so far? Before we go to this, <laughs> you know, analog to digital conversion. Analog to digital conversion. Okay, in digital systems, all these systems they use zero and one. It's either high or low. But in real life, everything we do is analog. In real life, the whole situation is analog in nature. If I speak with you at a higher pitch, let's say. Let's say the frequency of my voice is, let's say, 25 hertz. And I say, okay, 24 hertz should be zero. You should not recognize it as Martins. You understand? So once I speak at the frequency of, let's say, 30 hertz, it should recognize as Martins. So it will not convert that 20 or 24 as zero, then 25 as one. It's not converting the real world situation into digital situation. Mm -hmm. That's what is happening here. Mm -hmm. So that anything that is below is zero, anything that is up to that range and above is high, mm -hmm. which is one. I don't know if I explain it well. Okay, then there is drone, which is this. This is the drone. This is used for sequential programming. Sorry, where did you get it from? From drone, yeah. The fourth one. After the analog, the next one is DR, drone. By the rotation. Yes. So this is for sequential programming. Like you know, we have our outputs from Q0 to Q7. This is what we use for traffic lights, for elevators, any sequential program you are writing. That one step must be executed before the other one. We use drone. So if I want drone, 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 
drum, beating drum. Okay, dear. Yeah. The name is here. So whatever thing you want to use, you if you want the first step, if you want to switch on a particular traffic light first, you use drum one step, you allocate the time here. Step two, you allocate the time. Now in traffic light, what we have here is just a two-way traffic system. Only two traffic lights. One control this road, the other one controls here. This, this A controls the one coming here. And this B controls this one. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, okay, let's just do it so that we see how it works. I'll just do a simple one and then we now do the complex one. Okay, let me do the complex one, you do the simplest one. The reason why I wanted to do the simplest one is so that you will just understand the process. Just understand the process and go, you know. Yeah, you can. Okay, so let me just do something that is not complex, it's not simple. Something at the middle. Okay, yes. If this person, we all know how traffic light works. If somebody is coming from A, and this A represents, this light controls this man, or these people, while this light controls these people. So that is to tell us that if A is green, this one will pass. This place should be what? Red. This one will stop. Now, as this red is passing, or this green, this A is passing, this green will now turn to yellow to notify this guy that I'm about to stop you. At that point also, this blue, the uh, blue, uh, B, will turn from red to yellow, telling this guy you are about to be passed. Then after that, it will turn from yellow to red. This one will turn from yellow to green. Okay. So, now we need somebody that will take the ribbon for us, so that we'll just be... You have to construct this drone. Somebody should. Just have two lines A and B. A and B. Uh -huh. So you put, you know, for A you put green, yellow, G, uh -huh, yellow. Great. Then for B, also you put uh, red, yellow, and green. Okay. Let's assign output ports to each of these uh, lights. We can choose any value from Q0 to Q8. Okay. Yes, we choose anything. I don't want to choose, just choose anything. Two, two. Okay. Mm-hmm. Two, three. 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 Q1. We are not going to use Q0 like I said. Q0 is always active because okay. somebody can it. So the only vacant number for us now is Q1. One to seven. Q1. Yes, but we have used Q2 to Q7. Alright. So you now come to a drone. This is how to program it. Let me start all over so that we understand this very well. Okay, you now come here. Put your drone here. I'm putting it here because I need to the drone has an enable pin and a reset and then an output so i put the drone here so that this one will be for enable pin this one for reset this will come up just minimize it if you minimize, minimize it it will stay somewhere here so we call this like j1 if you like we we'll just put j1 to enable it and then uh, this is our output, we can just choose an output, but we, we don't want to use Q0, so we use Q1, this is the only vacant output. Then, this is our reset. We can use J2. J2. That's all. It's very simple. 
to J1 will be our enable, J2 will be our reset, and Q1 is our output. Alright, so you now come to your drone and now look at how it works in real life. Now, when green is on, which one should be on in B? Red. Red. Mm -hmm. When green is on in, in A, which is Q2, right, you now click Q2. Then in B, what should be red? It should be red should be high. Which is what? Q5. 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 You now click the two. So they should be active at the same time. Wait, what are, what are you know, when green is on in A, what happens to B? Red is on. Uh -huh. So you put red, which is uh, green in A is Q2, and red in B is Q5. So you click the two, you activate the two. Let's say, let them be on for 10 seconds. You put 0, 100. Because it's in a multiple of 0 0.1, yes. Are we all following? All right. The next step, the traffic light will now notify, is it A? Yeah, it will notify A that I'm about to stop you. So it becomes green. Sorry, it becomes yellow. So what is the yellow of A? Q3. Q3. And what is yellow of B? Q6. Q6. So they will be active. But you know the time taken for the warning sign is not that much. So can we just put it as 4 seconds or 5? 5 seconds. Okay, 5 seconds. So it's 50. 50. Yes. Is there any... Yes. How do you allocate that Q2? Okay. We just chose values of the output from Q0 to Q7 to give our green, yellow, red. We've not reached there yet. Yes, we are just writing the program. Yes. Okay. So the next stage is after this one becomes yellow, you know, A will now turn red and B will turn what? Green. So when red is what is the rate of A? Q4. Q4? Q4. What is the rate, the green of B? Q7. Q7. This is it. And also, let them be on for 10 seconds. You can choose any time. You know, one 10 seconds so that it will be very simple. 10 seconds, that says 0, 1, 2. Yes. All right. After then, it will now become yellow again. The two will become yellow at this time. At the same time, what is the yellow of QA? Q3. Q3. What is the yellow of Q of uh, B? Q6. Q6. So that's how the cycle will continue. This is the first cycle. This is the first cycle. After that, Q5 and Q2 will be on, right? Mm -hmm. Q5 and Q2. After that, Q6 and Q3. Q6 and Q3. After that, Q7 and Q4. Q7 and Q4. After that, what? Q6 and Q3. Q6 and Q3. After that, what again? It comes back to another cycle. Q5 and Q2. Q5 and Q2. After that, which one? Q6 and Q3. Q6 and Q3. That's all. But you have to allocate the time. Can you use you so can you change? Are you reset it to be ah. resetting for one minute? Yeah, you, yeah you can reset it on the reset there. Can but this is just a program place. Okay. Alright, so here we can put 50. Okay. Mm -hmm. 50. Let's put 100 again. I want us to do it two different ways. This is a simple that is not too complex or it's not too complex, it's not too simple. Yes. And this. Okay, it's supposed to be 50. Okay. And Okay, please 
please. Is there any question on this? No. All right, thank you. All right, we are done. You see, it has taken us to the first state. It's waiting for us to activate Q3, Q2, and Q5. Q2 and Q5. So, let's do our connection. Now, our enable is what? J1. So, let's use this one, this switch, to enable. And J1 is in one. So, you bring it to in one. Do you understand this? We are just connecting it based on this schematic. The first one goes to in one. This is the input one, which is J1. Mm -hmm. Then the second one, second one goes to in two, which is J2. And J2 is our reset. So that means when we activate J2, it will take the traffic light back to the initial position. All right. Look at J1. So you connect J1 to your first switch. These are just switches. Once you activate the switch, it will now send light to this. Yeah, once you switch on the switch, it takes whatever place you connect here to be activated. So we are taking the J1, look at J1 in one to this switch and in two to this switch. I can take it to any switch I want. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is in one is in switch one. In two is a switch four. We are done with our input and reset. So we are going to our output now. So Q1 is what? What do we put as Q1? Our main output. So we just take it to any place. Maybe we take it to this LAN, which is our main output to show us that it is active. Then I said, uh -huh. the difference between this and process control. In process control, you activate your main line to positive, but in this one, you activate with negative. So you bring it to negative, and this one, the positive to the five positive terminal. Here. Okay? It's not part of the system, but this is what tells us that our system is on. Now, let's go back to what we just did here. The green of A is connected to what? The green. Yeah, Q2. Q2. That's out 2. So you take out 2 here. This is A. You take it to green. Do you understand? Okay. All right. Then the second one. The second one is Q3. Q3 is connected to <coughs> Q Q A, yellow of A. Can we see yellow of A? Q4 is connected to red of A. Q4, which is R4, is connected to red of A. Then Q5 is connected to red of B. So out 5 to the red of B. This is red. Q6 is yellow of B. This is it. Then Q7, that's out 7, is connected to green. That's all. Any question? Mm -hmm. We don't even need to power this, but I just powered it to show you that it is active because we chose Q1 as our active line to show that the light is going. Yeah. It goes to negative. Your program goes to negative. And your positive is powered by the power supply. Okay, so let's go. Is it? This is it. This Q1. As you can see here. Yeah, it's positive. Yes. It goes to negative. Okay. Then your positive is energized by the power supply. Yes. 
there's a difference with process control. So now to so put it on. Was the first ones to deliver the key in that. Sir? Is to bring in power to the system. Yes. All right. We are now going to interface. It's not communicating because it is off. Now it's communicating. But for it to work, you see, it's returning the previous, the first program. So for it to work, you have to enable it. So this one will be on for 10 seconds. Red rates. The yellow, yellow. And it will be showing you everything here, the green, green rates. So the first cycle has been completed. Yes. Yeah, it will be ready. You see, yellow, yellow. Telling them to be ready. Now this one has been given the go ahead, this one is stopped. So that's why it will continue till... So this is how the traffic light will be done. Yes. So you will do the complex I will, one. I will design one. Yes. Hey. What happens when it gets to that last thing? To last on the table on that end. On the ground. Mm. It goes back to the first. Yes, sir. You can program it differently. I just... Yes. Yeah, you can decide, I'm also following this book. Yes. You can decide um, Sir. based on the peculiarity of the <laughs> what you want to. Yes, it depends yes. on what you want. Okay. So that's how it works. Did you notice something? And you know, this is designed to take the maximum of 1000 or 100 seconds. Now, when it gets to 100 seconds, it will not come back to zero again and start all over. <laughs> it is. So it doesn't stop. Sir, can you possibly now, use Let's that, uh, reset it now. We say J2, sorry, I'm coming. J2 is reset. We want to stop it to start all over again. We click and reset. You see? It will return this position. It will not start until when we deactivate. Then it will start counting. Yes, sir. What I'm saying, sir, since that LED is a control output, can you still use uh, maybe in place of that LED to control other to not uh, uh, this uh, traffic? Uh, yes, you can control. I other mean, things. you can, can you can use it to control maybe like our solenoid or something. Yes, you can use it. You can use it. So instead of activating that LED, you yes. activate it solenoid for a particular time. Then you can activate. Yes. This are supposed to be on. I think the power is too small. Cool. Let's see if it's working. By activating this. No problem. I go ahead. Is this supposed to be active? Is it still working? Even when you move this uh, Yeah. Is it supposed to be active? The motor. Yeah, but Q1. I see Q1 is not active. Okay, any question on this? That's it. All right. Let's now start. So let's start all over again. Apart from that, that's a typical Yes, sir. What else can you do with that? Anything that has to do with sequential use the drone. Sometimes I would like to switch on my motor after 10 seconds, switch on my light. You know, for instance, you are coming to your house, you are driving in. I now say that anytime it receives a pulse from you, let the motor operate to open the gate. So five seconds. After five seconds, when you pass, it should close. If you are using time, you can use counter with a pulse that will do that. Close. Then as you enter inside, after 10 seconds, the light 
security lights will come on. It will come on. With this process? Yes. Yeah, you, you can design the process differently, yeah, just whatever you can think yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. What do you call it? Sequential? Yeah, yeah programming. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you can conceive, you can do it. Yeah. So let's start from the beginning. Okay. Yes, because we actually started from the end. The first experiment we did is from the end. So let's start from the beginning. And this will make everything simple. Okay. All right. In starting, we have to go to simulation mode. Sometimes the problem with this software is it freezes most of the time. So let's say we want to start with the smallest or the simplest uh, programming. Maybe we have a bulb that we want to light up with one single switch. Surprise at this. This program is not that cool. Remove the belt. Yes, I remove the belt. I don't think something is wrong. I want to find out if it's working fine. Okay, I have a bulb and I want to switch off. But I don't want to do it myself. I want to do it right in the program. The switch is what? My input. The bulb is my input. So let me choose J1 as my input. And Q5 or Q3, whichever value, as my output. This is the problem. When I activate J1, Q3 should come on. So let's simulate and see how it works. J1, Q3 is on. If you off it, it goes off. On, it goes on, off, it goes on. So how do we implement it here? Sorry. When you click on J1, it switches on Q3, okay. based on the schematic. Okay. When you off it, it goes on. On, on, this is the simulation. Okay. Now, let's implement it. J1 is my first switch. I now put my switch one, like this, into in one. J1 is in one. This is it. So, then, my output, I'm using three there. So you come to up three here. And then, let's see if this bulb is working. If it's not working, I'll change it. It goes to negative, like I said. Then you energize the system from the positive power supply. So let's take it from 12. This is the connection. So, I have to go to interface to see how it works, switch is on. Now if I switch this on, you're supposed to see the light here, and then the light here will come on, and then it will light here. And it will also show you here, the simulation part. If you reverse this now, it will still come on, but it's not the best. That's what burns this thing. So let's reverse it. Don't take this kill. You see, it will still come on. But it will burn it. Yeah, uh, can you repeat it again? Because, uh, no, I can't do it again. Because, because, yeah, because yeah, of the burning. So some of us, we have no electrical. No, no, no. We just reverse this polarity to see. I don't know the impact of what we have been done now. Yes. Yes. So, so just be careful to be. We have this. special class after the instructor. Yeah. So you you are you the one that will learn it very well. Oh. Okay. Now this is the first thing. I will do like four experiments now. Then I'll allow you to do like four experiments. I'll give you something to do so that everybody will understand how these things work. But if you have any question, please you ask. Okay, let's start with another simple thing. You know, in electrical and digital systems, when they, they teach you the first thing, like switching on the schematic or cycle, the next thing they will teach you about the AND gate. How many of us know the AND gate? Do we know AND gate? Okay, AND gate is digital multiplication. Digital multiplication. Now, if you have two inputs and you want to switch on one output in AND gates, on where? There is, before you do it, your student have to draw a truth table. To what? A truth table. Okay. 
truth. Mm. I don't know what makes a truth. Anymore. I don't know the reason why. It's <laughs> yeah, it's a it's, yeah. it's a logic. It's a logic system. Yes. yes. What is a kind of logic called syllogism? Yes. As you say. If this happens, that happens, yes. or either this or that. So okay. it's a kind of logic. Yeah. Are you are proving the truth of a variable. Of the logic. Of okay. the logic, yes. Okay. So that's why it's called So that's truth. why it gets the yes, truth. Sir. Okay. So let's have a truth table of two inputs and one output. Somebody should help us with that, please. Yes. The truth table, yes. After your turn. Yes. A and D. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, if you want us to have poster, we can have it, but let's start with a single list. Okay. Yes. So, when A is on, on, sorry, sorry, please. When A is off, and B is off, the output should be what? Off. Okay. The output should be off. So when A is on and your output is off, sorry, your B is off, your output should be off. When A is off, B is on, output is off. Yes, off. When A is on, on. The output should be oh. please. So now this is for angle. Do for all gate again so that we don't need to repeat ourselves. Um. All when A is off, B is off. Output is off. When A is on, B is off, output will not be on. When A is off, B is on, output will be on. When A is on, B is on, output is on. Okay, so let's prove this truth table. Now, what we think about logic programming is you don't need to change the connections. Once I make the first connection and run it, you can only write a program again to effect the second one without even tempering with the connections. So, the first one is AND gate, that is series connection. So we say J1 and J2 in series, or J3 in series, then let's say Q4. So this is the first one. So let's take J1 as our A, J2, J3 as our B, and Q4 as our output. So this is it. So you now go to simulation to test how it works. Now the same if A is off and B is off, output is off. You can see it here. J1 is off, J3 is off. We don't have half output at Q4. Yes. So J1 is on and J2 is off, there will be no output. Let's see. J1 is off or on. J2 is off, which we didn't activate. No output. Here again, J1 is off and J2 is on. No output. This J2 is on. J1 is off. No output. Okay? Then the third one J1 is on, J2 is on, then there is an output. So J1 is on, J2 is on. Wow, we need to. Sorry? Oh, sorry, J1 J1 is on, J3 is on, Q4 is on. But when one of them is on and the other is off, there will not be output. The yeah. only way they can give us an output is when both of them are on. You can see it. Now, after that, you now come and do your connection. The first one is J1. You connect it to E in one. The second one is J3. It's J3, right? You can even put S2. 
you can put whichever value, but let's put S3. What is important is this. Uh -huh, the instruments here. Yes. So it's A3. That's low distribution. Okay, the output is what? Q4. Q4. So we come to R4 here. And connect it to the negative here. The other terminal will now connect it to positive voltage. Yes, sir. All the boards that we have for instance, convention. Yes, sir. Here, yes, sir. So we are done with the connection. Let's now go to interface. All light should on the system except the fans. Accepted. So let's see. J1 on. You can see it here. The television is off. Should be off. And the AC off. AC off. The other one is J1 off. J3 on. The bulb is off. Yes, it's showing here that G3 is active, but there is no output. But well, the last one says that when both of them are on, the uh, output will be on. When one and three are on. So maybe the television sees what's happening. By that time, you want to see the pages where the bulb is. So the bridge will J1 and J3. Yeah. J1 and J3 are on. What's up to me? This one today will come on. J1, J3, Q4 is supposed to be on. J1 is on. J3 is on. J3 is on. There is no showing. Yeah, it's not showing. What's the problem? Okay, okay. No problem. J3 is not showing. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, J1 is not showing. Sure. Maybe that brief experiment also will burn something. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Let me see. Let's just do it again and see if there is a problem somewhere. Okay, J1. J1. Yes. J3. And Q4. And Q4. So we are not connecting. This way. Hmm. Okay, let me remove it from Q4 and put Q5 and see if the problem is fine. Q5 should have given us light. Let me check interface. This is correct. J1, J2. This is the problem. This is J1. Now, what's the problem? J2. Okay. Let me try something. this. Is the bulb still alive? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. alive. We would have seen this. This one would have come off. Mm -hmm. Q5 here should have been on. Really problem. Is that J-Way is everything? I checked the, where the connection is. Is the reverse polarity you did that caused the... Check the wire. You know, this uh, sensitive electronic, that's how I bought to my... <laughs> I bought my list. I bought my route. This is the last day. Was smart. I just. Do you want to kill? That's a matter of seconds. Then we'll be done. Yeah. 
Estoy aquí, que es una
Yeah, it's going to take us a long time. These are training systems, yes. they are not common products. It's just a product of this company. Yes. Yes. Let's see, let me, let's, let, let's try it. Uh, a timer and see if it works. Okay. Uh, let's try it. Let's see it will the try, will the timer still go with the hand or okay. gate? No, it will just go with one switch. One switch? Yeah, just press the switch and count. Mm -hmm. It's a day for some time. Let's see, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. J0, this one goes to J0, then the output is Q4, so let's come so that when it gets to 4, mm -hmm. we will now switch over mm -hmm. this system. So what is this switching on? It's switching on the light or okay, the motor. motor. Let's use motor this time around. So the same thing applies here. Yes. Okay. So this is J0. It's dynamo. Oh, so dynamo. It's kind of mistake. Mm -hmm. oh. Jesus Christ. So the sun is uh -huh. But it's turned with that. Yes. So this is it. So it's working. Okay. Let's. I'm still I'm trying to imagine why this is it. Okay, now let's reset. Reset. The sun is connected to three. Oh, sorry, two. After 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. So if you want to reset, it's J2. So let's still go back to it. I don't know why you want to 
Control is through the negative line, not positive. No, we are controlling the switch. Mm -hmm. switch. Mm -hmm. Guys, for this monitor, sir. Okay, it's working now. Look at mm -hmm. Look at it. What happened to it? I don't know. Maybe it has issues. You can see this hand gate. Mm -hmm. So we switch. Oh, maybe this one is burnt. Okay. Maybe okay. this two is burnt. Okay. Yeah, because. Now look at Did we use S2? Did we use S2? Okay, this is J0. We activate. Nothing will happen to the model. We activate this one. Nothing will happen. That's fine, get We activate the two. Now it works. And it's showing us now. Yeah, it's showing you. So it's working now. Okay, let's now try it again. From this. Yes. So that switch was bad. Yeah. Okay. So this is iron gauge, which we have proven that it's working fine. But one good thing about this uh, equipment, is, sorry, about PLC, is that if the number of inputs and outputs are the same, you can convert from iron gate to old gate. And it will work even without changing the connection state. Mm -hmm. So let's design an old gate. We go back to simulation. J1. Yes. You are sliding the chair back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are coming with a POC. Yes. Is it because of the environment they are using? No, it's POC. Because they are like it's programming. Oh, it's not a diagram. It's a design. This is like a ladder. You have to like you are climbing a ladder. Oh, yeah. You know, in most of these automations, they use ladder like that. But that are more advanced than this one. This is just very nice. Very nice. Like most of these good ladder diagrams. Maybe you use control logics. Yes. You know, you don't define time like this. Like, how's our time? Now, something like this, you can configure the child, you can configure all the time for the output, you can configure any parameter in the last. Yes. yes. So, the one we are learning now is the Mosley School. Seriously. What's this? Mosley School. But this is. Those that did the program. Yeah, yeah. But you know, most of you that know the replacement. Do programming. You want to be programmers. So, I think the reason why. This global programming, smarter than programming, came into being is because most engineers are designing a lot of things these days and they want to program it. They don't want to be programmers, but they want to program something. Yes. So they decide to give them a program that is going to be good for them. Yes. Because if you just put this cycle and this cycle, an electrical engineer will know that this will own this. But if you are going to see language now, you will write a long. You have rules to follow. <laughs> that is the end of the <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is simplified. They still are accomplishing this. It's hardware language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hardware language. And you know, like, um, I was asking yesterday, I, I, I do mobile apps. But if I tell you the program and you need to do mobile apps, you'll be surprised. If I'm doing it, you'll be like, what's this? I used to have inventor. I don't even know that. Okay, I'm inventor. Yes. Very, very simple. Uh -huh. Somebody in primary school, in fact, I was teaching my nephew at inventor last year. But he designed something that this year I had to like, how did you get to know this? He said, is it not an inventory? <laughs> <laughs> so, the tools are coming up that simplify in fact, and then allow me to program the program. Yeah. Yeah. Because people that will land in a very hard place. Yeah. <laughs> when you say you are using Android Studio, I was like, okay. I use an Android, Android right? Very... <laughs> Seriously. 
But with this app Invento, you just just like logo program. Exactly. If you want, it has so many libraries you can see. You want GPS, it pulls for you in a block form. Accelerometer, everything is just there. Just pick and drop, pick and drop, and then come out with a very wonderful. If she is not fine, I'm still be coming for it. Eh? Why they are going at some mad day? Actually, I'm paying on Sunday. Mm. My students, they are going to Yes, no. Ah, my God, it's not too late. Not too late. If you want, they can come to my lab. I have a lab in Abuja. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Where? In Abuja, if they can come here, yeah. I will start Abuja, taking that, students. Uh, yes, yes, I will start taking students next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's more easier. Yeah, it's easier. But I, we don't stay here, all of us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Then, like, we are going to enjoy my Monday. So, so this is the next one. Yes, this is the next one. Yes, I can now see no match. Like the next one, you come match. Yes. After this, after this, I will. If there is time, because there is no way we can even finish. We have only one hour left. But if there would be time. I will now introduce you to pneumatics okay. using this. Okay. Yeah. You have a pneumatic platform. You can simulate it and see how it's working, how it's working without even your panels and everything. Okay. okay, we've changed the program, we've not changed anything here. It's now OGET. Okay. And we know OGET, okay. any of the switch will switch it on. Yes. Okay, that's not connected. Good interface. Any of the switch. We switch it on. Okay, so it's two five we use. It's two five. Yeah, two five. So any of the switch on it, and the two of them can also on like hand gates. So you see, in later programming language, you don't need to change the yeah. wiring. Your hardware is still the same. With the software can now change, and then you can do anything for you. Any question? Okay, we have. I want to give you something to do. No, 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 no. Okay, sir. Um, can we download whatever is going to do? Actually, yes, okay. we're supposed to, but there is a problem. Okay. This model we are using now okay. is 2014 model. Okay. See, there is a place for you to download, mm, but you cannot. And mm. here it has a provision for you to put up to that sorry. Can you see? Okay. Yeah, but on this system we cannot download. But what we are bringing to your schools, ah, you can do that. Yeah, 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 more than once. Okay. Yes. okay, so this one cannot download to Africa. to Afnic. Yes, sir. Any Afnic? Yes, it cannot because it's two to one forty model. Okay, but what they put this, this what interface? What is what they done is to build the to bring in the, the new yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, flush what is it? What is it? Sort of throwing it away because uh, yeah. making this become. <laughs> no, they are away. They are trying to make money. I know. It's I a know. business strategy. Yeah. Yes, I know. Because if you have you build drivers, then there will be no need for the ones they are bringing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So yeah. they are doing. Yes. They are telling us. They, they, are, they are trying to tell us that if you want it, build your own. <laughs> and these are things that we can actually do. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the government is ready for that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it keep on important. Yes, because they make money. We can't do it. It's like China. Go to China. China this is not China. This is no. Israel. No, no, no. Where I'm here, go to China. What they are producing, they are going for. We just should start doing something. I mean, you see their children. They're very surprised. What was that? That that was the best one. You see, they really the best houses. They really have some. What was that? What was that? Okay. Go to the boss. Yes, sir. What was it? Okay. 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 Right. Yeah. A program uh, that will activate the motor. Write a program that will activate this wheel. That will activate DC motor and run for five seconds. Then after that, deactivate the DC motor and activate light and run for three seconds. Activate light. Activate motor. Activate. 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 Activate.
Now we're acting it light. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Three seconds. Yeah. Then let it repeat itself. And we let it repeat itself. Now let's assume that that DC motor we are activating is actually a motor that takes a bucket into the river, uh, sorry, into the well, and brings it out and pours it into, let's say, a base, sink, a container, and then the light is the container that will take it to somewhere for three seconds. So the first thing we think is, what are we using? Is it a sequential programming or just any type of programming? It's sequential. Okay, it's sequential. So you now choose what you'll be using. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, draw into the water. Okay, drum. So I hope you know how to design drum. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when you are done, yeah, pleasure, pleasure. then you construct it here, you do the connection to the motor and to the lights. So this is the same. You know that the negative is always connected to the output. And then the positive is connected to the power. No, I sit down, doctor. If there is a CPD picture, don't worry, we'll do it now. Let's, let's let us be using it. Okay. No, I, don't. I, no, I want to clear everything. Okay. Just activation. Let us choose G1 to be our. Click on it. 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 First of all, right? Why can't we write the program first before right we choose that drum? Okay. You said it is a special program. Just can I speak with you? Saturday. Let's be doing something now. Let's run. 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 Let's no, no, stable is, is, uh, is for and all gates. Yes. So this one is normal sequential. We still need to say what we are doing. Like we still need to say what we are doing. We still need to say what we Just, we want to activate it. No, no, okay. this one is, we are activating the two tables. We are activating the two tables. Thank you.
thank you. You see, the focus should be inside the water, inside the well, and take the water. Then the light should be something that we try to bring Okay, let's see how we might So, we activate this in the Let us. I hope five seconds. Let's go in to come for 30 seconds and 30 seconds. So, we see, first of all, where we, we, we said it is a sequential program. Mm, program. So, we, we use drum. This is drum. Yes, drum, drum. yes. Is it? Yeah, but it's, it's usually one. Right? Usually one. Right? Before you stamp it, then it's better to sketch out on paper what you want to do. The steps you want to accomplish. We have, first of all, we have to activate the motor. Hmm? Activate the motor. So, input, um, let's say, motor, let's call it uh, J1. Mm -hmm. Then for the so for the light J3. Okay. No, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, one by one. See, this this kind of program is like the one we wrote the other day. Okay. Last day. So yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So here now is uh, it's, uh, it's just it's a time. time. Right? Mm. Where yeah, to stop time? I want stop time. Mm. Mm. You understand? Because it's going to activate the motor. The motor will run for some time. Mm. And then deactivate. Mm. J1. Yeah. So the this means that the J1 and yeah, J2, J2 will be, will be yeah. dedicated for that motor. Maybe when J1 is on, we time it for certain seconds so that J, J3 will be on. When J3 is on, to deactivate the to deactivate the uh, see the, the motor, motor is doing two things two things the motor is first of all uh, running clockwise you take the bucket down mm, then it will deactivate then it will run counterclockwise to take the bucket out mm, no deactivate then the light will come on but he didn't ask us to to what is the, where is the question? To write the counter clock. Just right said that we should activate it and deactivate. That we activate the DC motor and run for five seconds. And okay, it's only one direction. Yeah, yeah, one okay, direction. When it gets to that point, when it gets to five seconds, then it's not J1. What, what J1 is the motor now. What we're supposed to do, huh? mm. what we choose a, we choose the oh. J1, J3, and J4. Mm -hmm. Wait. If you own J1 and J2, the output is J4. You are, you are, what you are trying to do is like and or get. Mm. Is that what mm. you are That one can, uh, you can no, operate. That one, that one is not just one. one. See, see, basically, mm. It's we just we need to find a way to um, the, the motor needs power. Mm -hmm. So we need to give an instruction for the power to be connected mm -hmm. to the motor. Yes. And then another um, in, I mean another yeah. command to yeah. say how long how the motor, long the motor will, will run. run. Yeah. So it is yes, how to software. it is how to represent it. The first step should be uh, add like add power. To, okay, first of all, let me select motor. Then add power to it. Uh, okay, run, run, run for time T. And then he said uh, after that we stop. We stop. We stop. We stop. Then start. Yeah. Start light. Activate light. Okay, select to activate. Select activate light. Then run. Run. Turn. Then repeat. Repeat. Okay. So, 
You know what happened, sir? You know what happened? There is a rule for this trainer. There is. Once, rules. Okay. Otherwise, you are going to burn it. One is, uh, let's say this is our motto. Isn't it? We want to activate it, this one. This is motto now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want to activate it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We energize this motto directly from the output. Mm -hmm. So we are controlling the Not output, output from the power source. From the power source, sorry. So we energize it from the power source. Mm -hmm. So we are just controlling the motor through the negative line. You understand? So when we put our from a switch. Yeah. So when we energize it from the output from the power supply, so this is where we are going to control it to activate or to deactivate mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. So for example now if we use uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, this drum you understand on on off 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 from there we can choose the one that we need and also time it so how can we time it yeah. if we if we are not using that drum you see the way it is it's drum now and i said from the beginning it is so let us just let us just draw the i don't think this drum, is what we are doing see, but if we draw it we will select the one that see, we need this one yeah. mm. this when one, it we, are doing, mm. we want to See, this the circuit we are creating mm? Mm. is to open the circuit, close circuit, close circuit for the motor. Mm? After some time, we are opening circuit for motor and then closing circuit for light. It's not correct. Okay, so it's a branching circuit. So first of all, let's start with the motor circuit now. Let's run the motor circuit. Mm -hmm. The motor circuit will start being in an open position. Mm -hmm. That's the G. The this is green. This is the G now. The gripper. This is the gripper. J1. J1 open. Then J1 close. The output. What should the output should now? The motor. No. The output is the motor. So what is the input? The input now should be the switch, the close circuit. When you this is open now. Okay, so you are going to, uh, this is the switch, it's open now. The switch has to close. So we take normally close. The normally close is there. Uh, normally close. Look at it from the left. The left one is normally close. J normally close. Uh -huh. So when you close this now, hmm, there should be output. Uh, the, the motor will be on. Mm. So if you time it, then you put the next switch, which is normally often. Mm. Engage normally so often. So put, put the output now here. Mm -hmm. I don't think we are correct. Or maybe the Okay, no, no, this will be wrong because no, you are, this is normally closed and normally open. Mm. The normally open should come after, it should come when J is also you, normally open. You put the outputs, just select J4 in the output, this one. Select J4 to be our output. So no. that. Huh? J is the switch. Hmm? Yeah. So at the time the switch is open. The output should also be open. Yeah. Should not run. So we okay. cannot have a normally close before okay. the output is open. Once the input is closed, output should also be closed. I should run. So, uh -huh. so it means that we are going to take this out and move this here. Take which one? That is a J1 normally close. So we out. Uh, so, uh, out. Okay, bring the Q normally close here. Man. Q, which, which one are we using? Is it Q? Output at what? Uh -huh, Q1. Okay. Okay, let's change it. Okay, now. In this state, hmm? what the switch is on a motor, and then the motor is the move. The switch is open. It's open. The switch has not switched on. It's open. Then we can remove this. Hmm. 
Saleto is using G1 to be the driver to drive the uh, uh, to drive the tama. Then we use G3 as the reset. Using it, just no, the same we, cycle. Let's make this decision like this. Okay. We want when the switch is close, the motor should run. Should run. Hmm? Okay. So we have J1 as the close in normally closed position. Mm -hmm. When J1 is in normally closed, Q1 should run. You understand? Mm. And then the time for the Q1 to run should be in line with that. It's supposed to have the line is supposed to come. Where will we look at this this line? You come and then you're branching the time somewhere here. This counter, one shot counter. One shot counter. And they see you are up on the time this side. There's nothing uh, should have been this one. Should have been this this line. Here, this one here to connect with this, this one. Uh -huh. So that now is the stopping of time. So, so when it has run for select the time and now you put the value, change the value. See it from where? From where? No, it's not. You just click on that and change the value. It is showing there when you change the value. Give me the time. Give me the time. But it's not. It's not reflected. Click another place because it's not reflected. It's not reflected. Maybe you want to press center O. It's reflected. Press enter now. Okay, so now have uh, after this now. You're going to have the motor should go off now. Motor should go off now. Yeah, motor should go off. I think we are taking this thing like um, Cessna and <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> we are trying to do something that resembles Cessna. <laughs> No, the app is the app to do the CQ one. I said slow down this. I don't think it's correct. So do we give do we give up on what? No, no. I know what we should do. This is motor. We should take power from here and power this motor and connect this thing to a switch. That's all. Yeah. But for us to represent it here is what we have here. That is what we are doing. We have taken we have taken power. We have taken we have taken this switch. But this connected it to the motor. 
But sir, this one we should not select normally close because we should use our hand just directly. Yeah. 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 We should take normally open. I think Understand. so. It be off now. So when we uh, take so normally it open, normally open now. this one is just the energizer of this uh, timer. I've you done it. See, it's, yeah, it's, it's open. Yeah, it's open. Now. It's open. So when we have now switch, close the switch, and this thing run now. How do we represent what? the time it should run? This one. You see the time now. So the time it should run. So where do we represent the close now? The close. Mm. Because it has to close after this time. You know what this I'm thinking? It's just the same cycle he did for the first time. I mean, sorry, open. That he the have J1 open. here. Look at it. He have J1 here. He put a timer here and then he put J3 here as the reset. So if you time this one, whenever you on this one, it will energize the timer. Mm -hmm. And this you are J3. Mm -hmm. It is going to be the reset of that timer. So but we want, don't want to reset immediately after the this thing. We want from there to branch to light. After that time, yeah. what I was thinking we needed to do is to use this thing. This, hmm. this one. I said before. It this says. is. I think this is where we should have been working. Okay. Yeah. Not, yeah. No, no, since it's control less, light on and off, because that is why I, I said it one, before. Step one. So the reason why I did not insist is because so Q1 the way I observe it maybe is it's not a. Because which one are we using? Wait now, which one are we using for motor and which one are we using for light? We are not doing really use. Let's talk about just, just look at this one that you have drawn already. It's what you said. This one that you have drawn already. After that, we're going to get to You know, and this is special. That was why I sat down to it. This is what you're supposed to use. This is the cool This is drum. Mm -hmm. yes. This is drum. This one is hand or gate. Mm -hmm. This is drum. And this is what we did. This is input. This is output. But it's after we did this one, we come now and drag this one. It's for this, for this one. Look at here, we have on, so on, this one is on. Let's choose a of the key. It's going one. For the motor. motor. Then give it time after five seconds. Two. Then use another key again for the light. After five seconds, this is we need. To activate for five seconds. So, then, then, is this the one that you want like, to have? Like, if we see. If we see. Let's see. Let's do the key that can activate for five seconds. That's 50. Is it 50 or 5? 50. No, 50. The second one, that should not be good. Let's say give the light. Yeah. Uh, step two. No, that was step one. Is the one. Yeah, and this one now, now for three seconds. Step two is the light. Uh, uh, then yeah, continue again. Three. The you same you one again. You that means the now it's not itself. You did not choose the first one. So you didn't choose the second one. Mm -hmm. so, I will see. I will choose the Q1 is presenting them. But you're not Q2. You go to Q1 again. Yeah, we'll see if it's again. Give it another five seconds again. Yeah. 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 Uh, four. Go back to it. Go back to five. You mean to continue doing yeah, that? Now, that's yeah, let's it. leave it there now. Let's test and it. Just leave it there. So now dedicate G with that Q1 and Q3. Mm -hmm. You know, since you have sweet there, you have to dedicate it. Set. That uh, you know you will put a G to to Q and to connect that uh, the connection here. Yeah. I think about the connection here. Yeah. Hmm? Let's go. Minimize. Uh, no, minimize. Oh. No, 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 no. 
you to this line. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, J one. Yeah, no, 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 So you have S1. I am making it help us. We are hungry. See what will happen again. This is in the hair simulation. Oh. So that's why it's here. So we have to to get you. We have to get one there. Go on, then. You don't even need to go there. The, 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 the Q1 has so to come out. So we need to if... So that J1 is a simulation. J1 is on, so there is no output here. What the fuck are we doing? The output should be Q1. You know the reason why we didn't see it here? Because we have not drawn anything here. We have not drawn anything. So that was what I'm, I was saying. <laughs> you understand? Because uh, this is your input and this is your output, isn't it? Do not show that you program here. Hey, you program here. Wait, sir. You have to use this. Let me let me do it as as it is in my mind. <laughs> I will be back in one day. I will be back in one day. I'm in a training. I'm in a training. I will be back in one day. I will be back in one day. Good time. Good time. Yeah, yeah. Drum or timer? What? Is it drum? Yeah, it's in drum. Oh. Okay, put drum. Okay, uh, no, no, no. Put the drum here. No, that one should be active. Uh, okay, that should be active. Put drum here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Remove this. You should remove this. Good drum. It's already programmed. It's, already it's running now. It's already what did you do? It's running. Wait now. We are not. We have not finished. We have not done. But well, we still have to have a ZBC do. Good reset. Good reset. Good reset here. Good J. J3. Good J3. Good J3. Good J3. No, okay. I said it anyway. See, this is similar to you. But you're not seeing it. From Q1 to go to Q2. That's okay, program. Yeah, that program that's we special. did there. Yeah, yeah. It has seen it. That's what it's running. Uh, uh, I've seen it. That's the question we did it. That's the question. Yeah, it's, it's simulating. It see, is. from day one, I have to see. Mm. Q1 for how many seconds? Mm. Then to go back to Q2. I say for three seconds. Go back to. It's so running. It's done now. So, reset so now. So, now we, we will choose Q1. Q1 for the motor and yeah, then so the, for the other one, one we will choose the light. For the light. <coughs> well, now let us connect it now. It is not what is running. But it's not what is but, running. But, but, remove this. Remove this. No, remove the jet. Tray. You touch it. Mm -hmm. And the, how do you, the outputs. 
Yeah, the, the output, output will be here. These no, are the output now. Q1 and Q2 are the output. We have already said the output in the drum. Mm. But for but here, we're supposed to... We're supposed to present it there. Output 1, Q1 and Q2. So let's play a video. I know it's that we are finished. <laughs> we are simulating, simulating. We show you what we need. We are still recording. Kill two or kill one. Hey, you have to. Yeah, it's this, one. This is supposed to be like this. He has to reset. He's resetting now after some time. It's because of that. Uh... He's resetting. <laughs> Uh, Can we connect it? To see whether it will work. Mm. I never do anything there. Mm. <laughs> but since, uh, see, but since Q1 and Q2 is running, even though we did not follow the instruction, but we can still operate. Uh, once we throw the switch now. Mm, yeah. Once we throw the yeah. switch. Off to J1. operate on, look at Q1. And off, off J1. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. No, it's off. Yeah. But you see, Q1 is on. Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, I've done it. Wait, wait, wait. 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 <laughs> I beg you, it's beautiful explanation. Let me start you from here first. Well, you remove the drum. Start from here. You cancel the drum. Where, where am I canceling the drum? Oh, this one is one. Wait, that's the drum. This is done for what? That's the design. So yeah, I know. I said this is this. Uh, Wait. One time. Now. This is ladder leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me, you know. The one time another. This is a one time this thing. Which I'm coming. This is. Uh, yeah, that is uh, one one time counter. This is one time counter. One time. This is one time counter. This is not of this much counter. Strong. This is not of. It's not of. It's not that. It's this one. Okay, so one time. Time. this one, see, this one, this one, see, Q R, look at it here. One time. Okay, this one. Time. So you put J one here. Yeah. Put J one. No, 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 Mm. No, go to here. Mm. Mm. Use this. Yeah, there is J2. Come down, there is a use parallel. This one. To to connect. Connect. Mm. No, there is no you connection. Yes. There is no connection. Yeah, yes. there, there is connection. Yeah. There is no connection up. It's only here. Wait. Now. There is connection here. Mm. Mm. No, we are talking about J3. We are talking about J J2. It's okay, it is okay, no. uh, okay. You select this one. I'm coming. This one. Is, is it double? Yeah. Well, we are taking our to connect this. No, no, no. It's here. Wait, let select me here first. You must you select the box. Uh, no. You select the, the box. Uh -huh. and then you click this one. This one. Let me the connector. Wait, it is. Wait, now. It's, 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 it's before. <laughs> that one is secondly. This one. Here, I need to put this down for me. That is you down connect, connection. you select this one, that is the down connect. This one, this yeah, one click is, it. Oh, this one is a, this is not down, okay. this is down. It's this no. one, it's this one. Uh, that is that one. Can you see it now? It's that one. You have to look at the arrow, just going up. Then you need something to go up. Then from here, you just when put J2. J2. Number the up. Then add puts. 
So then you add connector, which is this one, Abi. Okay, no. it's, it's normally Q Q4. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh, it is there. Then you go. Like, now he said that first of the first thing we're supposed to do is to design the circuit, mm -hmm. and that uh, this is the drum. This is the drum we put. If we say that our DC motor is okay, we have already chosen uh, Q4 for as our the, output. As our output. That so, will control motor and the light. Yeah. So we have this. Switch one and switch two. These are the switch for motor and the light, are you? Yeah. Yeah. So having done to this, the one that you don't want. Having <laughs> done this, we will now go to ladder. Yeah. Uh, to this drum. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Now. Okay. But do you know why you have to change the software? Well, I thought you minimize the sound. Okay. Abi. Just click it again. Mm -hmm. Minimize this and let's see whether it will come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just go to the end. Okay, we change the simulation. Change the option first. Go to option. Go to interface. Remove that. Uh, go to interface. Interface. It's not interface. Go to drum. We are not in the simulation. Yeah, I think we minimize this. No, it's not there. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. You know, you can't find it. It should be here. It should be under the software. Okay, wait. It's here. See drum. See drum here. No, next one here. Click that one. Yeah. No, this one. Wait. See, but yeah, I don't need no. No, I minimize it. <laughs> so it has been on since. Uh, so we said let need. let DC uh, the motor be Q3. Let the light be Q2. Okay. So let's remove the Q3. So we start with Q3. Let step one. Let it be on for 50 minutes. Already assigned that. Then. Next one is a Q2. Q2. Yeah, so we just keep on repeating uh, 50, 30, 50, 30. Uh, 50, 30. Click now. 50. On this one. Diagonally. We will assign the time later. Leave it like that. Uh, then the offer. The offer one. The offer one is three. The one, those ones are correct, yes. Is it? No, this one is three. It is correct. We have two outputs. Here. That drawing we have just one Q4. No, we have two outputs. That check is drawing. Check is drawing. Representing the two because of one draw. No, you know this one is representing the two because of one. It is uh, one at a time, one step at a time. So this represents uh, uh, both the light motor yeah, when motor. you are switching motor. Then it represents light when, when you are switching light. And but why is it two switches? Must it be that before? No. This is Q4. We, ha we have to see the all the Q1 and Q3 are okay, input okay. of okay. Q3. Okay. They are the input okay. of Q4. Just minimize it. Yeah. 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 What again? That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So now we can uh, go to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. So now we can uh, simulate. Yeah. Yeah. Simulate. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. It's already simulated. Click J1.
So I think we have to connect before we do this. Oh, we are simulating. So see, there is an output. Uh -huh. Q4 mm -hmm. now. So if we J2 now. Click J2, let us see. Okay, remove this. Click J2. J2. It will stop. It will stop. Not to equal. Click J1. Yeah? <laughs> oh, this is giving you what I'm speaking. Oh, let's see the time. Oh, let's see. Let's see the time. It's at 100. Hmm? Okay, it's, it's, it's supposed to be uh, delay. To delay. There okay. should have been timing. But delay to delay this. Oh. No, but we have put the timing in the in the drum. Yeah, in the drum. This one is not drum. Wait, wait. We when we put this on this, we watch this now. It is going to go up after. See, now. this is oh, timing and not drum. This one is that. timing and not drum. Replace this one. With drum, what we use here yes. is timing. Yeah. We use yeah. one time, one so time. Remove this one. Remove that one. Time. Uh -huh. Replace time. it with yeah. drum. Remove it. Which drum. one is drum? Drum. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Is it first? This one. Do it first. Uh -huh. Do it first. first. Uh -huh. okay. So now we have the time. Uh -huh. Now we have the time. Uh -huh. Now we have the time. Uh -huh. Now we have the time. Now we have the time. Uh -huh. Now but we got it even the other time, even without this move, yeah, yeah, it was switching. It. Yeah, exactly. Ooh! <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, stop it.